Good morning guys, this is the Tech Prepper. Today we're gonna to be looking at a new accessory from ArmorLock. It is the Anderson Power Pole Mount for the TPA pack frame system. The Anderson Power Pole Mount is designed really to do two things. One, to neatly dress the power management system on your TPA system, but also allow the power cables to be secured to the frame for easy management. It also reduces the stress on the pigtail you may already have for your power pole connector. The Anderson power pole mount comes with just a few components. At the core is the mount itself. This is a 3D printed enclosure that allows you to connect two Anderson power poles together. It also comes with the required M-Lock hardware, just two screws. For the hardware, you're gonna need a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench, and that's about it. The mount also has two holes on the side that will pass through on both ends, allowing you to additionally secure the Anderson power pole connectors with some simple zip ties. So the first thing we wanna do is decide where we want to position our mount, and this is gonna be based on your needs. There are plenty of M-Lock slots on the TPA pack frame system. I personally wanna have mine positioned near the bottom here because I plan to run the other side of the cable into my bag, and the pass-through is about that height. Next up, insert the provided screws into the mount, and I usually just do a few turns so that the M-Lock hardware is captive for easy placement into an available slot. Now let's attach the mount to the frame. I typically like to use something like my pocket knife and insert it in between the radio body without scratching it and the frame and orient the M-Lock hardware so that it's perpendicular and then ratchet down at the same time. So it might take you a few attempts to get everything lined up properly, but once it's secure, uh, you can go ahead and make minor adjustments just by backing out the threads a little bit and moving the hardware up and down and then finally secure with a proper torque. With the adapter in place, all we have to do is take a look at our Anderson power poles and take a look at the notches on either side of the housing and then just mate those with the uh, mating hardware on the adapter. And it may take a little bit of wiggle to get that in there, but then just give it a good firm press and you're good to go. For additional security, we can take a zip tie and loop it through one end of the mount through the other end and bring it onto itself. I'm not going to do that with the other side, mostly because I wanna have flexibility to mate and unmate the other end of my patch Anderson power pole cable as needed. All right guys, that was pretty simple. So at this point we have our Anderson power pole properly secured to the mount and the mount properly secured to the TPA pack frame enclosure. And all we have to do is take our desired length of Anderson power pole jumper. And I find it easiest to kind of bring this in at a slight angle. You might need a little bit of a wiggle. There we go. And then just press down to mate. And again, you can optionally use the other pass through here to add additional security for the other side using the zip ties. Hopefully you enjoyed this short step-by-step uh, -step video. I'm the Tech Prepper. Be strong, be safe, and be prepared. <laughs>